People, Joshua Woodruff, roofer near me. I was just riding to a, an appointment this morning and thinking about how I used to be on the job, every job involved, and, and how easy it was. And how, scaling a company is is harder than just being just having clients that that you're involved with, and one doing one job at a time, and and being on that job and seeing it through. Um, it's just different than scaling a company that that you don't physically touch everything you're not doing everything you're you're depending on other people to do it and and you're depending more and more on other people as it grows as you scale it right you're depending on them and finding the right people and all this and it's it's a lot harder because you're now they're reflecting you and just like when you were on that job and everything would go a lot better because you were overseeing it now you got other people overseeing it and you're depending on them and everybody's not looking at them they're looking at you so and then you've got suppliers and, and everything it's just it's a lot harder to scale a company than just to have a company and uh, I'm learning that and learning all of the uh, cash flow issues all of your banking issues all of everything that you that that's involved in, in dealing with different municipalities and and all these things some of them don't have some of them still don't have computers you got to physically go over there and get permits and stuff I mean it's just it's a lot and and to be putting that on other people um, you know you you rely heavily on other people and and that's um, I don't know it's just different scaling a company you know um, and it's a lot to figure out it's a whole lot to figure out Alex Hermosi uh, I get a lot of advice from him um, Peter Kozadoy, although I haven't dad gum been able to, to uh, get on his platform in a while because I've been so slammed. Uh, but he has great advice too and he's helped me a lot. So uh, we're getting it figured out. Um, and you know, for not having run a business from from this side of things, always running it from the uh, the labor side of things, being involved, being on the job, physically going to get the material, physically hammering nails, all those things to to just directing and not seeing everything because I don't see every job and that that scares me sometimes you know um, because I'm putting my name on it and I haven't even been there and um, and it's impossible for me to do it now you know I can't go to every job it, it, because I'm selling the jobs and then there, Charles is producing them and, and uh, Tigger Gary's uh, doing uh, all the paperwork keeping the books and all that so it's it's impossible for me to make it to every job and um, and I'm depending heavily on these other guys to make sure the job's done right. But that goes back to having your um, having your environment set and having your procedures and and everything set. You know your protocols, your procedures, uh, how everything operates, your standard operating procedure. Having all of that correct before you try to scale helps a tremendous amount. I didn't, of course. I'm in the middle of it, trying to figure all of it out and. I don't know, that's the way I like to do stuff, you know. Figure it out while you're doing it. <laughs> it's the best way. Anyway, I just thought I would share that with y'all this morning. Scaling a company is a lot harder than just having a company. Uh, something to learn. Love y'all. Peace.